different one, and as I mentioned a few videos ago, I think, there will be some, some new games that we play on the channel. I've got a, a good one lined up that I did like one episode of on the main channel, never went back to it, but I want to go back to it and play it through for at least three or four episodes, but in today's video, we're going to be taking a little trip down memory lane. I have downloaded well, I've downloaded eight apps that really were a part of the, the golden era of iPhones and uh, iPod touches. And uh, I'm going to be doing two in this video. And then there will also be a, a follow-up part two video where we'll play the other four as well. So probably going to play each game for five or five or so minutes or maybe longer if I'm, you know, having a, having a, oops, having an absolute blast, but, uh, yeah, I won't waste any more time, let's get into game number one, which, I loved this game, I also loved, um, what's it called, I also love the second iteration of it, and I'm just actually gonna start recording because I almost started playing the game without uh, without capturing which would have been a complete and utter disaster but uh, any day anyway as you can tell it is Temple Run 1 Temple Run 1 I believe it's called like classic uh, classic edition and it even says 10th anniversary there I used to play this game so much. I loved unlocking the skins. And yeah, Temple Run 2, as I said, was a really good one. But let's go ahead and hit play. Oh man, so it, this has been literally so long since I have played this. So let's see how we can. Uh, let's see how we do. We've even got the, the, the tutorials. Like I mentioned, I had to re-download all of these games that uh, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be playing <laughs> because I'll be honest, I don't really play too many. Yeah, I don't really play too many games anymore on my phone. Anyway, 
doesn't matter too much. Oh yes, I remember the power-ups you can unlock, right? What are they? There's invisibility. Do, 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 do. That was close. In, in, not invisibility, invincibility. There's the coin magnet one, which was always my... Oh yeah, because was it in... I believe it was in Temple Run 2, was it? Where you could... Uh, Purchase characters that had abilities where once you collected X amount of coins, you um you unlocked that power. I believe that was Temple Run 2, or oh, that was very close. And I'm just beginning to get just a little bit stressed, I cannot lie. Um, because I think this is actually relatively what? That is absolutely outrageous. Is that a good score? I feel like that's an okay score. I'm, I'm going to give it one more go. I'm going to try and beat. I'm going to try and beat that. Uh, beat that, and then we'll move on to game number two. Um, my posture at the minute is absolutely terrible. I, I really should have thought about a more sort of optimum way of filming this video, but hey ho, here we are. Here we are. stars there. The aim of the game, if you guys haven't played it, uh, excuse me, no thanks, I just want to carry on. So, obviously it's to cut the rope and to get the, the sweet into the, is it a frog or like an alien, into his mouth. But obviously there's like an optimum way of, of doing that. So it's all about science and working out what order of ropes you want to cut, so I assume you want to do that one. And you want to do that one, and then it swings, collecting all three stars into the little guy's mouth. So I reckon we'll, we'll take a nice, all relaxing move through. Um, oh gosh, wait, is this going to swing up? Oh, I sort of messed that up. Yeah. 
see that one, is it? That one was easier. You actually need to cut them quite quickly sometimes because of the, you need the uh, momentum. Ooh, okay, bubbles. This throws a, uh, a spanner in the works and then pop it and down it comes into his mouth. Red 
sensibility either. Okay, let's move on. We've got a bird key. Oh yeah, I like the fast one. Yes. I like him, although the fat one is also a pretty good choice. And then doesn't the little one, I think the little one like multiplies now, if I remember correctly. Okay, on to the next level we go. Let's, let's use our rapid boy. And then you want to... Okay, yes, I was going to. Thank you, I do know how to play. Nice. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Even got a... Um, an achievement as well. Happy days. Happy days. Okay, moving on. It is cool. It is a cool just, I much preferred the original. Uh, just like that, that should destroy them all. Nice. Onto the next path. Oh, there's a bit of like, is that D&D &D there? Whoa. Oh. I'll tell you what, only just did that one. Only just did that one. Yeah, again, I have to say, out of the three, so far, Temporon is definitely, definitely the most fun. By a long way, by a long way. I'll do one more level, one more level. And then we'll end with like a, I think, a, a game that honestly I had completely forgot about until I found this uh, article that helped me sort. Source these games, um, and maybe it'll be the, the case for you too. There we go, nice and easy to complete our trip back to Angry Birds. So let's now move on to game number four, the final game. Okay, I know what you're thinking. What is this bootleg version of Flappy Bird? Well, you can't get Flappy Bird anymore, but as such an iconic mental game, that was just a mental part of time, wasn't it? Like, all the craze around Flappy Bird, this super simple, stupid game. Anyway, um, let's see how we do, but, yeah, so, oh, we're already dead, brilliant. Um, for those of you who aren't aware, I'm so bad at this. So, I, um, the original was much easier than this. So, <laughs> the guy who made. Right, I need to focus. The guy who made the original one. I remember it was a. Oh my gosh, this is shocking. Um, he, there was a whole thing about him going to delete. Um, apologies for the creaking upstairs. He wanted to delete the game because it was dominating and ruining his life. And then he was getting death threats because people were so obsessed with the game. They, they didn't want to go on. But like really, like it's such a silly game, but people were obsessed with it. And to make things even crazier, I think once it was taken off the app store, um, the people were selling iPod Touches and iPhones with the game on for like hundreds if not thousands of pounds. I remember seeing a story of a girl who sold, literally sold her iPod Touch for like a grand on eBay just because it had Flappy Bird installed on it. That's the level of craze we're talking about. So this version, which is way worse, is simply a, like an homage to it. Um, I want to get double figures, because... This performance is shocking. I need to get higher than eight, and we can call the video a day. But yeah, I can, I can, I can't remember what my actual high score was. I wouldn't even remember what would constitute it as good. I was, oh, I'm really good at this. Um, actually, I was in an arcade the other day, and there was like a. Oh, this is doing my head in. See, this is. I remember. I remember getting this angry. <laughs> actually out. But I was in an arcade the other day and they had like a jumbo version of Flappy Bird. Here we go. Not spoke too soon. Uh, yeah, which like if you got a 
certain distance you got tickets and they also had a crossy road big uh, big game as well oh but this is a painful I'm, I'm actually massively grossly <laughs> I'm massively regret regretting downloading this this let's put it this way this is the first game that's gonna get uninstalled from my phone after this video is done oh that is a this is the last go. This is my last go. Okay, let's see what we can do. And yeah, we get one. Yeah, awesome. Okay, well, that is getting swiped up, shut down, and I am never, ever playing that game again. Um, so we've ended on a little bit of a, a sound note, but, but still nice to take a little bit of a stroll down, down memory lane. But that is going to do it for tonight's video. Let me know what your favourite nostalgic iPhone and iPod Touch games are, and maybe they'll be part of the form that we do in part number two. Apologies for the creaking again. It is one o'clock in the morning, but that doesn't matter. If you did enjoy this video, then 